The work package three, uh, which uh, on the face of it looks like a highly technical, uh, even statistical work package, actually is going to benefit more than any other work package uh, from the input and the participation of persons representing all areas of uh, disability, um, because we have to learn from the experiences that they've had being denied citizenship in various domains and being inactive citizens or simply not citizens at all. We have to learn from their experience what it is that from their point of view is saliently measurable. What, is, what it is that shows that progress has been made in achieving citizenship. Perhaps the notion of measurement seems a bit too scientific to be relevant to this area, but I can assure you without that kind of achievement, Governments can all, always say, well, we've done all we need to do. Show us that we have not. And without the information, there's no way to show that there has been progress or there hasn't been progress. If changes are recommended and implemented, it is possible not merely to say, well, we've done that, but also now we can show that we have done that. Now we have evidence and very hard statistical evidence that's quantifiable evidence that show, shows that progress has been made. Now, in order to do that, it is an extreme challenge to go beyond what are usually used in this area, which is to say economic indicators, to look at indicators that measure participation, social participation, of the sort that active citizenship is, co is composed of. Those indicators those indicators are of extreme importance because they allow us to make sense of what it is to be a citizen, to respect rights, and also to respect them in a way that has, if you like, actual impact on people's lives. So, Work Package 3 is, if you like, a way of keeping governments honest. Uh, the, the case of uh, cognitive impairments and uh, psychosocial difficulties, mental health problems, is always, uh, uh, perhaps unfortunately, a special case in the, the arena of uh, disability. It, it's very easy to marginalize these individuals and put them outside of the realm of active citizenship. So for these individuals in particular, active citizenship is not only a challenge, but an absolute priority. Um, and from the point of view of Work Package 3, it is going to be an interesting challenge, one that hasn't actually been addressed before. My own personal experience in, uh, in, in this area has been, years ago, as a human rights lawyer, always making arguments before courts and tribunals to the fact that a particular individual has been denied, as we would say, active citizenship participation in a certain kind of area, and then, if you like, winning the case, walking away and never really realizing or having any good faith that change will happen. Change happens only, it seems to me, if you can point to change and you can measure change over time. Other than that, it is, as I say, political rhetoric, which is not a bad thing, but it is not enough to change people's lives.